I've made a lot of videos about hustle culture, escaping the rat race, what that means for the Christian, how we should live a life that's focused on God and what matters and not just on getting the next thing and on being content. But the truth is, I've kind of been lying to you guys. And I really didn't do it intentionally, but I made a lot of content about how I'm escaping the rat race and how I'm choosing to live my life differently. But internally, I was behaving exactly the same way. I was discontent. I was anxious about being productive in order to prove myself. I was using this ministry partially as a way for me to prove to myself that I was doing something with my life, that I was doing enough. And every subscriber, every new person that was going to support us was part of me t telling myself that I was doing enough, that I was being a, a good man, that I was being a godly man. But the truth was, um, over the last year, I've had to take, take a real step back. And maybe it hasn't seemed that way, but you know, when I was a single guy and, um, over the last, like, you know, early on when I was in ministry, basically, um, it was so easy to dedicate so much time to this. And it took so much of my, um, sense of who I was in terms of like, if the ministry was doing good, then that's, then, then I was doing good. If, uh, if, if we were doing well, if I was able to finally make a living for myself off it, then I was an acceptable man that I was, that I was doing good, that I was a success. And even in the midst of telling you guys like, Hey, you know, your worth isn't found in your work for me, for so much of my life, that's been the case. Okay. Now having been, um, kind of a year out of taking a real, step back, like over this last year, taking a real step back for a number of reasons, really challenging stuff within, within my family, um, that I've, have been having to work through a lot of healing that's, that's taking place. Um, it's been really, really challenging and I've had to fo refocus my priorities. Right. But in the midst of that, I've had to restructure the way that I see myself. Okay. Maybe you've had to do something like this too, or maybe one day you'll have to do something like this. So learn from me if this happens is you took so much of your identity from how much you could be productive, how much you could, um, you know, do basically like, that's what it comes down to how much you could produce for the world. And for me, that be, that's very tangible, right? How many videos are coming out? How much content is coming out? How many, uh, how many things am I able to comment on? How many people am I able be able, will I be able to reach for God that has a direct correlation to my personal worth. But then there kind of comes a point where it's like, hey, there's something that needs your, your attention more than making this video right now. That's really hard. Because even though that work is more important, the work in my personal life comes most prior, has most priority, especially with the relationships that I have in my life. Um, that come, That's more priority. But even still, it doesn't, Sometimes it doesn't feel that, oh, I'm doing something, I'm being productive, I'm being, I'm doing enough, right? I'm making a difference in this world. Why did God do that? Well, I, I, learning, kind of uh, reflecting on it, I've learned something very important. Is that God will do whatever it takes to refocus us, to take our eyes off of what doesn't matter, to shape us, to form us, even if that means... Um, causing us some discomfort. And that's what I've been experiencing. What's comfortable for me is just to be free, to make as much as I can, to not really address what's going on in here, but to talk a lot about what's going on out there. I'd love to talk about your stuff and how I can help you. But when it comes to me and my relationship with God and my relationship with others, man, that seems uncomfortable. That seems scary. That seems like a lot of work. I don't want to put attention into that. That doesn't feel productive to me. But some of the most important work that God wants us to do doesn't feel productive to us because we've been so rewired by this world to see productivity as, as getting more, as getting more followers, as getting more money, as getting more attention, as getting more popularity, as, you know, even if it's helping more people, being satisfied, oh, I'm helping this person. That's so awesome. Like you, you get a high off of that. But what happens when it, when you're forced to step away from those things to say, okay, man, I got to deal with some things in my life. 
I get to deal some, with some insecurities that's, that have been driving me in unhealthy ways. I've got to really sort through some stuff. I've got to help other people heal in my personal life. Whew. Then you're forced to rely on God for who he says you are, like your identity, right? God says, I'm a child of God, regardless of how many videos I create this week, regardless of, of, of any of the other metrics that go along with, with my job and my mission. God loves me. Nothing can separate me from his love. Even if the world forgets about me, God still loves me. God still cares about me. These might seem like, okay, Isaac, these are just kind of basic stuff. Like you really needed to be reminded of this. Truthfully, yes. Truthfully, yes. And I guess my encouragement to you is maybe you've been in a point, in a place where you've been forced to slow down too. You were running on high velocity and you were feeling like really productive and making those career moves or, you know, fostering a lot of relationships and you're really moving up and, and then all of a sudden something hits you back. Maybe it's something you need to address in your family life, something personally, something in your faith, just a, a trial that sets you back. And now you're forced to be a little bit more slow to, um, to take on a different pace of life. And you feel like you're falling behind. Friend, I'm going to make another video about this, but I want you to know this 100% that oftentimes growth is falling behind. It's saying no to the priorities of the world in order to say yes to the priorities of God. It's to say no to those things that were keeping you busy, that were giving you a false sense of, I'm doing enough with my life. I'm, I'm making some moves. I'm, I'm being significant. And it's actually giving you a chance to address those insecurities of your heart that truly our significance and our security are to be found in God and not our busyness and not our hurry and not our ability to produce. I want that to rest on you today, friend, because a lot of you are walking with heavy burdens. And Jesus said himself, come to me, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. All who labor, right? If you're laboring, come to Jesus because his yoke upon you is light because he's taken all that. He gives you his identity, this identity of, of child of God, of loved, of secure, of significant in his sight. I want you to rest in that friend. That is a journey, but I'm inviting you onto that journey even today. I hope this video is encouraging to you. Um, it's been a lifelong journey. I'm going to continue to share more about it in the future. Thanks to everyone who watches this channel. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time. And if you support, want to support what I'm doing here and support my family as well in the ministry, uh, click the link in my description and sign up to Patreon today or give a one-time donation on PayPal. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. God bless.